good morning in today's session we'll try to take an example on aggregator so what is aggregator it is a transformation object use it to perform aggregations used to perform aggregations means you can apply aggregate based functions on your columns previously we have discussed about one transformation object called as derived column that is supporting to perform calculations but it is unable to support aggregations if you take aggregator this will support you to perform aggregations that is group by count max min average etc so these type of things you can perform with the help of aggregator means it is looks like a table wise calculations rather than individual or row based column calculations but do you is it possible to apply all these group by count max min average in each and every field means no if it is a numeric field numeric column then you can apply group by count max min average but for example if you are getting a character field then you can apply only group by and count functions max min average will not support for character based columns so if you are having any measures that is numeric fields all those things you can apply all the functions of aggregator So we'll try to take an example on this. For example, something like this. I'm having a source table called as an SRC underscore EMP, and that I'm having some data in this format. select star from src underscore emp this is the records i'm having so totally i'm having 15 rows are there belong to different different departments for time being we'll try to view this data based on depart number so i'll say order by department number So under department 10, I'm having three records. Under 20 set of records, under 30 set of records, and 50 we're having one record. Now my requirement is, I want to know what is minimum salary under each department. Like for example, here if you take it up 20 department number, what is the minimum salary that is 800 what is the maximum salary that is 3000 same way what is an average salary what is total salary like that i want to know and that particular data i want to put in a separate table so i'm having a destination table something like this here department name is there but uh, I'll try to take one more table DPT cell 1 so I'll try to create a new table
next to the columns like a dpt and o max cell average cell min cell total cell into tgt underscore dpt is or dpt underscore cell one from tgt underscore dpt underscore cell it is saying t cell column is not there we will try to view what are the columns are present based on that Part number, department name, max cell average, TOT cell. So here I created a new table. Call as teacher underscore DP underscore cell one which is consisting columns like depart number max cell average cell min cell total cell so with the help of aggregator we'll try to calculate these values and we'll try to put in this location my source table is sr underscore emp from here i want to use department number and a salary and this data i want to keep it up in a table called as d tgt underscore dpt underscore cell one so we are having a source aggregator and destination object we will create a new package for this this is a new package i'll rename this aggregator drag the data flow task double click on this data flow task drag the source object so i'm trying to place validity be source double click on validity be source new click on the new object new button server name is ramesh iphone pc and database is source test connection it is succeeded okay okay then choose the connection just now what we have created source connection click on okay then choose the data access mode as a tabular view and table is src underscore emp what are the columns means employee number employee name salary commission department number click on ok now what are the values i'm getting here but do you need all the fields as per our requirement i need department number and salary to do these calculations I doesn't need employee number, I doesn't need employee name, I doesn't need commission. Then why you want to bring all those fields here? No need. So I'm once again double clicking on the source because I want I don't want to get that extra columns. I want to remove them. So double click on validity be source, go to the columns, and we'll uncheck employee number, employee name, commission only two column values we are trying to pick it up from this place called as salary and department number click on ok after that drag and drop aggregate transformation below of validb source link your validb source to aggregate double click on this aggregate and i want to implement 
department number group by so i'm selecting the depart number and i'm placing check mark for that so what is an operation for that means i want to say it is a group by along with that i'm trying to take a column called as a salary and output name for this i'm saying like max sal some name what is an operation means i want to say it is an maximum i want to know the maximum salary for that department same way i am adding one more column called as an salary and this one i'll say avg sal and what is operation means i'll say an average so i'm trying to take one more column as a sal and output name is min cell and what is an operation means i'll say minimum i'm trying to choose once again cell output name is tot cell that means total salary and function is sum click on okay and what are the values i got here i want put into the destination so i'm planning to place oldb destination link your aggregate to this oldb destination double click on oldb destination new choose the destination connection object click on okay table or view and select the table some table just now we have created like tg underscore dpt underscore sal1 so i'm selecting that particular table mappings here department number is mapped but i doesn't have links for other columns so we'll try to map it explicitly so this one is a max cell to max underscore cell same way average cell minimum cell and total salary click on okay save this so our destination table is empty whereas source is having 15 rows are there from these 15 rows how many departments are there means totally four types are there 10 20 30 and 50 so under 10 i want to know maximum minimum average and total same way for 20 also maximum minimum average total like this for all the departments we'll execute our etl package start execution is done 15 rows it captured from the source and it has written four rows into the destination object because you rank depart numbers like 10 20 30 and 50 something like that so go to the database check the destination table this is the data what you are having so if you take 10 the maximum salary is 5000 what is showing here among these three records 5000 is the maximum and uh, if observe minimum salary is showing as 1300 among this department 10 if observe minimum salary is 1300 that's what we got it and what is the total salary it is 8150 the same value we got it same way it has done some calculation for average same way for all the other departments we got the output so wherever you want to implement a group by or aggregate functions then you should go with aggregator transformation object so this is what aggregator thank you